Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing some crispy black pepper smoked chicken wings, okay? And this episode is all about dry brining, okay? So, um, we dry brined one item before, and that was a turkey that we cooked way back on a Weber. I'll put the iCard up here if you guys are interested in checking that out. But I found a recipe of boneappetite.com, and I did some alterations to it. Okay, but uh, instead of just covering our chicken wings with just straight kosher salt, we're going to be coating them with kosher salt and a ton of other seasonings here. And I will put the list of uh, seasonings that we're going to be using um, on the screen. And that way you guys can see what's in there. I'll also put the description uh, all the ingredients down in the description block, okay, and the link to the original recipe, all right. But this original recipe was uh, supposed to be cooked in the oven. You know we don't we don't do that very seldom. We're going to be cooking these out on the smoker, and uh, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use that yet because this is the day before because we're going to dry brine for 24 hours or overnight, okay. So what we're going to be doing is I got my cutting board here, and we're going to be prepping some chicken wings here now the recipe says to separate the flat from the drumette but i think this time i'm just going to separate the tips from the chicken wings and uh go ahead and get them prepped out so hey don't go nowhere watch us do this quick prep work and then we'll see exactly how these things turn out all right so we got our chicken wings here so we're just gonna cut the tip off of them like so And we're gonna do this. This is about three pounds of chicken wings. Okay. All right, guys. So we got our chicken wings cut, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the refrigerator to dry brine for uh, 24 hours. Now, a couple of the things that, things that I saw in the recipe that I didn't really agree with. One, it said take a cooking sheet, a cookie sheet, or a baking sheet, and put two layers of foil on it, and then lay your chicken down on top of it, and let it dry brine for 24 hours. The problem with that is that with the chicken sitting on the foil, any condensation or any moisture that's drawn from the chicken uh, will pool around the chicken um, it may not get it as dry as it should be so the bottom of your chicken may be uh, moist and it may I think you need airflow around the entire piece of meat in order to actually dry brine it so what we did was we have our baking sheet we have some paper towel here to absorb the any liquids and then I have a, a rack here that just lifts it up enough so that you can get some airflow around the chicken okay uh, also, the recipe called for uh, drying them off and putting um, oil on them. And once again, I think adding oil to the recipe is probably contradictory to the results that you might get. So I'm going to go ahead and season these bad boys up right quick. All right, we're going to place these on the rack where there's some air so they're not touching. Unless we're going to do our best to try to fit them all on there. Make sure they're not touching. So, and what we want is the salt content in this mixture to draw out the moisture of the skin and make the skin crispy when it's being smoked. Okay? All right, we'll be right back after I finish doing this. Alright guys, so as you can see we got our chicken all seasoned up, spread out, we get some airflow around it and things. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the refrigerator uh, for 24 hours, uncovered, and hopefully the salt and the concoction will draw out some moisture and give us some crispy skin. So hey, I will see you guys tomorrow once we pull these out and we will decide what smoker that we're using. So hey, we'll see you tomorrow.
right, guys, we're done with our cook. Uh, you saw we started our chicken off at 225 degrees so that I could utilize the extreme smoke function button on the Rectech 680. And then after an hour of smoke, extreme smoke, I bumped the temperature up to 325 degrees and I let these chickens ride out for a total of two and a half hours. You saw we temped them, they temped it way over 200 degrees so there's no doubt that they're cooked. There's, you know, 160 degrees is the safe temperature but I wanted to make sure that this chicken was done, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to give you a close-up of these chicken wings. As you can see, they got a great color to them. You can see all of the seasonings and spices on the skin. You can even tell that the skin is kind of withdrawn some, which leads me to believe that it's a little bit crispier than it has been in the past without the dry browning. So I'm anxious to see how these worked out. So, hey, let's go ahead and get into a taste test. So... Now the key to this whole cook to see if this chicken skin was going to be any crispier than it normally is in the past. It feels a little bit crispier for sure, okay? Let's see. Alright, so go ahead and have a taste test. Alright, the skin is definitely much crispier than it has been in the past from the dry brining, okay? As far as the ingredients go that we use. Um, I think I would cut back on the cumin a little bit in the recipe, okay? So, if you look at the ingredients list and um, look at the cumin, I'll probably cut the cumin back probably by a third or maybe in half. But I like the flavor. It's just that the cumin is just a little bit overpowering. Let's have another taste. And the skin is definitely crispy, so I like that. That came out real well. So, well... There, there you have it, uh, cracked black peppered uh, chicken wings that were dry brined for 24 hours and then smoked on the Rectech 680, okay? So, hey, let me know what you think about this recipe. Um, I know somebody told me that they dry brine their wings and sometimes they have a trouble getting the crispy skin, but all in all, I think this worked out very well. Uh, hey, if you guys are interested in the Rectech uh, 680, check out the guys at rectechgrills.com. Uh, they got some uh, great products out there, okay? Uh, and you saw the instant read uh, thermometer that I used on the grill from the guys at uh, Thermapro. Hey, I'll put a link down at the bottom if you're interested in getting one of those. They have some good products as well, okay? Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, we'll see you guys around the smoke. You definitely taste the black pepper in this though. It tastes good. Just a smidge too much cumin.